Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and today we will discuss about the effect of organic solvent on PK of ionizable solutes like acid or alkali. In reverse phase liquid chromatography, the retention time of ionizable species is depends on PK of the compound and the mobile phase pH value. In case of reverse phase liquid chromatography, the ionized species gets elute early and the non-ionized species retain for the longer time or gets elute late. So, who defines the ionization state of the compound? And there are two important factors needs to be considered. The first one is pKa, I mean the pKa of the compound and the second one is the pH of the mobile phase. It is important to maintain the analyte in either a non-ionized or fully ionized state to avoid retention variability. In case if you maintain the compound into a non-ionized state, it becomes less polar and elute for longer time. In case if you retain the compound in a fully ionized state, it becomes more polar and elute early into the chromatography. But the important point over here is not about its retention time. It is about achieving the consistent or reproducible retention time. So you may be able to achieve the consistent and uh, reproducible retention time in case if your compound is either fully non-ionized or fully ionized. In case if your compound is partially ionized, you will end up getting the lot of retention time variability. It was shown that the pH of the aqueous and organic mobile phases was dependent upon the type and amount of the organic eluent. That means in case if your mobile phase contain the organic solvent, the pH of the mobile phase can get influ influenced. And if the pH of the mobile phase gets influenced, this can certainly change the pKa value of the compound or this can also change the retention time of the compound. Alcohols like methanol or ethanol weakens both acids and bases. Means what? The pKa of an acid gets increased and the pKa of the base gets decreased in presence of this alcohol like example 60% methanol as compared to 100% aqueous medium. Now what is mean by increase in the pKa value of acid? So the acid having the less pKa value is called as the stronger acid and the acids with the higher pKa value are called as the weaker acids. So in case if your pKa value for acid gets increased, means what? Your acid is going to lose its strength, it is going to become a weaker acid. And reverse is the situation for the basic compound. A base with a higher pKa value is called as the stronger base. And a base with the lower pKa value is called as the weaker base. Now in case of alcohol, the pKa value of uh, base gets decreased. Now what this means? Your basic compound is going to become further weak. And this happens in presence of alcohol like methanol. A decrease in pKa is found for several aliphatic and aromatic amines from 0 to 50% ethanol. So as the proportion of ethanol gets increased, the decrease in pKa value for alkaline compound is observed. And we all learned just now that the decrease in pKa value for alkaline compound means what? 
the further drop in its alkalinity the compound becomes further less basic a decrease in the basicity of aniline and its n methylated derivatives is found from 0 to 65 percent ethanol so these are some of the examples which actually have proven how the strength or how the pk value of uh, ionizable compounds gets changed due to the alcoholic mobile phases the decrease in pk for basic compounds in methanol was observed up to 80% of methanol and upon further increase of the organic content the pk of the basic species increased as can be seen in the below table now this is something which is uh, not in the trend that we discussed so far we just understand that for alkaline compound a drop in pk value is observed in the alcoholic mobile phase but for some reasons you know in case if your compound in, in case if your content of mobile phase has more than 80% of the methanol then the sudden increase in the pk value for basic compound is observed you can see over here like 0% methanol means 100% uh, aqueous mobile phase aniline is having a pk of 4.62 in case if the content of mobile phase is now 80 water and 20 methanol as expected the pk value of aniline has got dropped to 4.462 further got dropped to 4.322 and then 4.168 and then 4.068 but the moment the proportion of methanol got increased to 95 percent there is a sudden increase in the pk value of aniline is observed to 4.613 and then further at 100 percent methanol the value of pk for aniline is found to be 5.804 you will also find similar observations for another two compounds however there is no such kind of uh, trend is observed in case of acidic compound like acetic acid and benzoic acid so as we said that the strength of the acid gets decreased in the presence of organic solvent means the pk value of acid should get increased with the increase in the organic content in the mobile phase and you can see the same trend over here until 0% to 100% of the methanol the pk value of acidic compound is found to be in the increasing order that means the acidic uh, strength is getting decreased with the increase in the organic content in the mobile phase. I hope you understand the difference. Mac Calais observed a decrease in pK values for peridinal basic solutes in mixtures of ACN water 40-60, methanol water 55-45 and THF water 25-75. So this is the pK value of pyridine in water 5.17 has got decreased in methanol in sorry in, in ACN in THF and as well as in the methanol and same is the situation in case of 2,4 dimethyl pyridine its pK value in water is 6.74 and further got decrease in the presence of uh, ACN THF and the methanol. The decrease in pK value means decrease in the strength of alkaline, alkaline compound. This result suggests that the ionization of the basic compound was suppressed in the organic aqueous medium. The ionization of basic compound got suppressed and because of that there is a drop in the pK value. Here is one more example in case of uh, acid. Barcella shown that the pK values of acids increases with greater concentration of methanol. So, four examples are given into the below table benzoic acid and two nitrobenzoic acid, three nitrobenzoic acid, and four nitrobenzoic acid. So, these four compounds are acidic in the nature, and these are their pK values with respect to the percent of methanol like at 40 percent 
बेंजोइक एसिड हैज ए पीके वैल्यू ऑफ 4.99 एट 60 परसेंट मिथेनॉल इट हैज गॉट 5.48 एंड एट 80 परसेंट मिथेनॉल इट हैज गॉट 6.22 so with the increase in the concentration of methanol the similar increase in the pk values of acidic compound is been noted and you can see the similar observations for rest of the three compounds now dissociation of acids in methanol water or and acn water is governed by electrostatic interactions like london dispersion force or dipole dipole interaction or hydrogen bond and also it gets governed by the solvation effect which is a solvent solute interaction therefore if the organic solvent is present in increasing proportions there is a decrease in the dielectric constant dielectric constant of the solvent is nothing but the polarity of the solvent so if the dielectric constant gets decreased means the polarity of the solvent will also get decreased and this causes what the separation of the ionization separation of the dissociation and because of that the pk value of acid gets increased and pk value of alkaline substances gets decreased because the separation of ionization take place it is not only causing the separation of ionization of the analytes but it can the organic solvent present into mobile phase can also impact on to the pk value of your modifiers the buffer that you are using into the mobile phase in this particular table you will see the change in the pk value per 10% of methanol like for phosphoric acid it is 0.22 pk1 value pk2 is 0.21 for citric acid pk1 got changed by 0.17 so so and so forth so the amount of buffer required may get varied in case of there is a presence of organic solvent i mean you may have to add more amount of buffer to achieve the similar kind of ionization for the salt so in summary there are five effects that may explain why the pk of a compound in aqueous organic solvent is different than in the aqueous system the first one is ph of the aqueous organic eluent system the second one is preferential solvation or the solvent solute interaction the third separation of the ionization of the basic or acidic compound in the solution change in the dielectric constant of the eluent and fifth specific ion solvent effect and because of that you may see a change in your pk value of the compound in the presence of aqueous organic solvent system it is very important to understand this concept because many times we refer to the pk values of the compound which is determined by the aqueous solvent system